Yo, welcome to another video guys, it's me Avaloon. Today I will bring to you a artifact guide. Today I will focus on 5 star artifacts, so 4 star and 3 star artifacts are for another video. Stay tuned for that. Let's start. In Inazuma you can farm the Emblem of Severed Fate. This is a really cracked artifact. It's very valuable on support units. The 2 set bonus gives you energy recharge plus 20%. The 4P set increases elemental burst damage by 25% of energy recharge. A maximum of 75% bonus damage can be obtained this way. So what this basically means, uh, the 4P set bonus gives you 25% of your overall energy recharge. But only 75% of your overall recharge can be obtained this way. Uh, I mean, bonus damage can be obtained this way. So this is what most people confuse little bit but yeah now you should be good now the next set in here is the shimenavas reminiscence set the two-piece set bonus is basically the same as with the gladiators but we come to that later and the four-piece set bonus when casting an elemental skill if the character has 15 or more energy they lose 15 energy and normal charge and plunging attack damage is increased by 50 percent for 10 seconds this effect will not trigger again during that duration so this is a pretty good one it's good on characters like Yuimiya or other characters that don't value their burst skill that much because as soon as you trigger an elemental skill you will lose energy. So you are not really likely to get your burst up very soon because your elemental skill is usually the thing you do to gain energy, right? It's hard to tell on which character this is good but it's a DPS set and if you value your attack damage more then your burst damage, then like for example Ganyu, then this set is optimal. Let's move on to the next set. This is a DPS set, like I said. That's basically the only thing you need to know. Then over in here we got first the Archaic Petra set. That's a Geo artifact set because the 2 piece set gives you a 15% Geo damage bonus and the 4 piece set upon obtaining an elemental shard created through a crystallized reaction all party members gain a 35% damage bonus for that particular element for 10 seconds. Only one form of elemental damage bonus can be gained in this manner at one time. Damn, that's actually pretty good, the 4P set bonus. Good on a Noel, for example. But you really have to play your cards well, because, yeah, you want to get the right elemental damage bonus. And if there are too many elements on the field and Noel strikes, too many enemies at once, this could be a bit tricky to pick up the right elemental um, crystal. Yeah, it's good. At least the two-piece set is very good on Geo characters. The rest, it really depends if you want to um, put that much effort into your damage gains. Yeah, so for this one, the next one in the same domain is the Retracing Bolide. Um, the two-piece set gives you increased shield strength by 35%. And the 4P set bonus, while protected by a shield, gain an additional 40% normal and charged attack damage. That's pretty good on generally Geo characters that want to deal out, uh, deal a lot of damage. I also saw builds where this is uh, on other DPS characters like Diluc, where Diluc gets just protected by the shield of Zhongli or other characters and gain an additional damage for normal and charged attacks. Resin is valuable in this game, so I don't know how far you want to play with those, but go ahead, have fun. Um, I'd rather spend my resin on getting good artifact sets, because it really takes you years to level up multiple characters with uh, with de decent sets, uh, decent artifacts. Um, yeah, so far to this one, Geo characters, good, and if you have other shielding characters in your team, could be good if you have a steady shield. I never use it really, to be honest. Only the Archaic Petra. Then let's move on to the next artifact set. That would be a very good one. The Noblesse Oblige. This artifact set gives you in the two-piece set an elemental burst damage bonus of 20%. The four-piece set is using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. This effect cannot stack. So only one party member in your team will benefit from wearing this set. I mean, you will benefit from him wearing this set or her. Very good set. Get at least one copy of this set um, for your team. In the best case scenario, of course, two sets. 
like to complete sets for the abyss um this is a very good set you i can only recommend this one it's usually on characters like sing chu bennett or mona it's a very good set then in the same domain there's also the bloodstained chivalry this is a set for physical dps characters like rosaria or razor or eula although there are better sets the two-piece set bonus gives you physical damage um plus 25 percent and the four piece set after defeating an opponent increases charge attack damage by 50 percent and reduces its stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds yeah the two piece set bonus is pretty good the four piece set there are better alternatives let me just put it like that but the two piece set is pretty good um you will get it probably anyways because you farmed in the blaze blood set but yeah you know what it does now then on to the next domain here you can get the crimson witch of flames artifact set and this will give you in the two piece set bonus a power damage of plus 15 percent and the four piece set bonus increases overload burning damage by 40 percent and increases vaporize and melt damage by 15 percent using an elemental skill increases the two piece set bonus by 50 percent of its starting value for 10 seconds max three stacks so basically the four piece set bonus is meant for diluc basically this is made for diluc because if you use his skills three times, it's over. Like, there are three stages of his skill. And this basically gives him pretty high pyro damage. And yeah, the two-piece set bonus, of course, also on Xiangling. And maybe even with the Noblesse Obliged. But on Xiangling, there are also better sets, like the Emblem. But that's not what this video is about. It's a good set. I think one copy of it will be enough for characters like Hu Tao or Diluc. Um or even you, Emir. So happy farming. Then the next set in the same domain is the Lava Walker set. I don't know, guys. I never really um, farmed it. I never saw the saw the use for it. Uh, the two-piece set bonus increases your power resistance by 40%, and the four-piece set bonus increases damage against opponents affected by pyro by 35%. If anything is valuable, I guess it's the four piece set bonus i mean if there's a challenge where you need a tank and you need like power resistance okay maybe it's good but the two piece set bonus i don't know the increased damage against opponents affected by pyro yeah you could play with it and a few team comps can't really recommend it at least then on to the next one that is the the resistant venera set this one is one of the best sets in the game for Animo characters, okay? Um, basically, want to slap this on almost every character that's from the element Animo. Maybe only Shao, he needs like only two piece set bonus of this, like it gives Animo damage bonus plus 15%, the two piece set, and the four piece set increases swell damage by, f by 60% and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused in the swell by 40% for 10 seconds. So, it's crazy good. Get this one. It's a bit hard to farm, especially for characters like Kazuha or Sucrose, where you also want elemental mastery on the main stat. But it's one of the best sets in the whole game. It really gets you 36 stars in the abyss. It's a very good set. Then, now, since I forgot to mention one artifact, um, I will do this here real quick. Um, the Might and Beloved set is in the same domain as the Viridus and Venera. And this is a healing artifact basically so because the two piece set bonus gives you a healing effectiveness of plus 15 percent and using an elemental skill of burst increases healing received by all party members by 20 percent for 10 seconds so slap this one on a healing character like barbara or if diona is your super healer and to be honest i never used this one not even my gene is equipped with this artifact um, set but decide for yourself you will get it um anyways while farming the other set in this domain and yeah let's continue let's move on to the next one that's the electro set domain this is the thundering fury set this one increases your electro damage bonus by 15 percent the two piece set and the four piece set bonus increases damage caused by overload electro charge and superconduct by 40 percent Triggering such effects decreases elemental skill cooldown by one second. Can only occur once every 0 0.8 seconds. So, good on electro characters like Beidou, Keqing, 
but there is also the emblem set since the uh, release of Inazuma. So the emblem set is very good on characters like Beidou. So it's hard to choose. But just farm it if you have a Kaching. The next set in the same domain is the Thunder Soother set. This one uh, increases the electro resisting, uh, resistance by 40%. And the 4P set increases damage against opponents affected by electro by 35%. There's a war where this is very good on Kaching. Like when she hits opponent where she already applied Electro. This could be very good. Go ahead, try it out. You, if you get good pieces, could could try it out on characters like Kaching or other Electro characters. Then the next domain is the Blizzard Strayer set here in Dragonspine. The Blizzard Strayer set, the two piece set gives a crowd damage bonus plus 15% and the four piece set bonus when a character attacks an opponent affected by cryo their crit rate is increased by 20%. If the opponent is frozen, crit rate is increased by an additional 20%. So damn, that's in the best case 40% additional crit rate. This is very good on every character from the cryo element. Ganyu, Ayaka, probably Shangyun also because he's a damage dealer in the end. But also a good support in the national team, for example. But yeah, it's basically a very offensive set. It's ma made for damage dealers. Then the next set in the same domain is the Heart of Death. This one increases your Hydro damage bonus by 15% and the 4P set, after using Elemental Skill, increases normal attack and charged attack damage for 30% for 15 seconds and by 30% for 15 seconds. Pretty good, at least the 2P set bonus on Hydro characters. The 4P set bonus is for offensive characters like main carries like Child, or even a Mona, if she's a DPS Mona. Then on to the next one, that's the Pale Flame set. This one is basically made for Eula, or even Razor, if you constantly use this elemental skill, cause yeah, the two piece set bonus gives you an additional physical damage bonus, like increased by 25%. That's the same as Bloodstained Chivalry. The 4P set, when an elemental skill hits an opponent, attack increased by 9% for 7 seconds. This effect can stack up to 2 times and can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. Once 2 stacks are reached, the 2 set effect is increased by 100%. So, what does this mean? The 2P set bonus gives you 25% and 100% of 25% is 50%. So that's what you get if you stack up 2 stacks with your 4P set bonus and that's pretty strong. Now you could also just ignore the attack bonus you get from the 4P set and use the 2P set and the Bloodstained Chivalry and you just have 50% physical damage increase all the time. But yeah, then you lose out on the additional 9% times two attack increase. But then you don't have to care about the combo. It's up to you if you want to make your life a bit easier and lose all the damage. Okay, the next set in the same domain would be uh, the Tenacity of the Middle List set is the next one. And this is pretty new and it's since then pretty much the best artifact for Zhongli or any other characters that have an elemental skill that stays on the field and keeps proccing damage. Let me read this real quick. The 2P set bonus is HP is increased by 20% and the 4P set bonus when an elemental skill hits an opponent the attack of all nearby party members is increased by 20% and their shield strength is increased by 30% for 3 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds and this effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. So basically it's made for Zhongli because it gives him a sh stronger shield with the 2P set and the 4P set gives you an attack buff and increased shield strength. So yeah, this is just a pretty good artifact. I can only recommend to farm this at least once. And of course, if you've got Zhongli, if you want him to be a shield tank and at the same time a buffer, this is pretty good. Then we are almost through with all of them, but then the most basic ones are still left. And those are the Gladiator's Finale set. This one gives you an increased attack by plus 18% in the 2P set bonus. So it's basically the same as Shimonava's Reminiscence, as I mentioned earlier. And the 4P set 
If the wielder of this artifact set uses a sword, claymore or pole arm, it increases their normal attack damage by 35%. Keep in mind it's normal attack damage, so if you put this 4 piece set on a Kaching for example, the charged attack damage won't benefit from this set. So it's only for normal attack, if you spam your normal attacks it can be pretty good. And you most likely have this pretty early in the game already, from bosses most likely. Done. Here's the Wondrous Troop set, that's I guess the last 5 star set in this whole video. The 2 piece set bonus increases your elemental mastery by 80%. So if you want to stack up your elemental mastery, using the 2 piece set bonus will increase your elemental mastery drastically. Then the 4 piece set increases charged attack damage by 35% if the character uses a catalyst or a bow. This is, since her release, the best artifact set for Ganyu. It's also very good on Yanfei, because those characters use charged attacks the most. So it's pretty hard to farm, although now they introduce the strong boxes. Um, let me show you this real quick. And with the strong boxes, you can basically convert your artifacts you don't need into... Uh, right now, there are only four to choose from, but like here you can just put your artifacts in there you don't need then you go to mystic offering and you will get like one new artifact with new roles and it's completely random what you will get for putting in three of your own artifacts but yeah i won't do this now because i don't have that many left but that's a way to get more of wondrous troop artifacts or noblesse obliged you don't need to do the artifact domains all the time for those artifacts you can just use your defense percent artifacts or HP artifacts in here. Like circlets or goblets with HP or other stats, stats that aren't crit damage or um, elemental bonus damage, you can basically put in here, okay? Or just defense and HP artifact. And yeah, this will be two more chances to get good artifact rolls. So yeah, that's basically it uh, for my five-star artifact guide. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if this helped you out and to support my channel. I also stream on Twitch almost daily if you want. Go over there right now and leave me a follow so you get notified whenever I go live. And yeah, I'm happy to see you again in my next video. Have a out.